welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's video, I will be going through a few settings to help really speed up Bluestacks. If you're struggling from lag or frame drop or just general glitchiness when playing games in Bluestacks, then with a bit of luck, the tips that I show you in this video will help resolve those problems. And the first thing you need to do is ensure you have virtualization enabled. If I click on this little button here, as you can see, it says I currently don't have virtualization enabled. To enable this, all you need to do is restart your PC and enter the BIOS. That might be the F11 key, it could be the F9 key. Just find out what key you need to press to enter your BIOS. And once you're in your BIOS, you're looking for an option that says CPU virtualization and you want to enable that option. And that really will give you a boost in your games if you haven't done this already. The next thing we want to do to help speed Bluestacks is to ensure we don't have any rubbish running on our PC. For example, don't have any web browsers running in the background because that uses up memory, which we need for our games. Also, make sure you don't have any other programs running in the background. And also, if you have something like antivirus and stuff like that, just disable your antivirus and then boot up Bluestacks and see if that helps the performance in your game. But just remember, when you disable your antivirus, you won't be protected on your computer. So I don't recommend you do that, but it is a good test just to see if your antivirus is causing you the problems when it comes to performance in Bluestacks. The next thing we want to do is go onto Windows and we want to right click on the Start menu and click on Task Manager. You now need to go across to Start Up and you now want to disable any programs you do not use or need booting up with your PC. For example, here we have Opera Browser. We can go ahead and disable that. I don't need the Browser Assistant to boot up with my PC. I also have Key Pass. We can disable that. Epic Games Launcher. I don't need that to boot up as well. So just right click and go Disable. Once you have disabled all the programs, restart your PC and then boot up Bluestacks again and see if that has helped with your performance issues in game. If you are still struggling, then the next thing we want to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in disk. You now need to open up disk cleanup and you now need to press OK on your C drive. And you now just want to go through the options on this list and we want to basically clean up any temporary files and just any rubbish on your computer. For example, my recycle bin has 1.6 gig of rubbish. I don't need that in my recycle bin. I can remove that. Just remember though, when you clean up all these files, it permanently does delete the files, which means you will no longer be able to access them again. So just be careful what you're deleting. You can always press a few files and just check. Once you are happy, you can go ahead and press OK and go delete files. And disk cleanup will do its thing. Once disk cleanup has finished, the next thing we want to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen again and type in disk. You now need to open up defragment. If it didn't come up under disk, just type in defragment and optimize drives. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to go through your hard drives and basically optimize them. If you have a solid state drive, I don't recommend that you do the optimize option as it can decrease the life of your solid state drive. But if you just have normal hard drives, then go ahead and optimize them. This will also help increase the performance of your windows. The next thing we want to do is open up Bluestacks. And we now want to click on the three lines in the top right hand corner, which is our menu. And then we want to click on settings. You now need to click on display. And for the resolution, you just want to click on landscape. That's absolutely fine. 
You can do portrait, which will also dramatically increase the performance of your games because the resolution options aren't as high. But for now, we're just going to go with landscape and we just basically want to work our way down on the resolution. For example, mine's currently set to 1600 by 900. If my game's lagging quite a lot on that resolution, then I'm going to bump it down to 1280 by 720 and then see if that helps. If that doesn't help, then we're going to bump it down to 960 by 540 and you really should see a massive increase in performance. And unfortunately, if those resolutions don't resolve your issue, then the next thing you want to do is go onto portrait and then you want to do the same again, work your way down the resolution. If you did see a slight increase in performance on the landscape, then the next thing we want to do is now go ahead and change our DPI. The higher the value, then the more lag you may encounter. But the lower the value, the better chances you have of having better performance in your games. I recommend that you go ahead and choose 160 DPI. And once you have selected that option, go ahead and hit save. Just remember, making any changes in the settings in Bluestacks, you do need to restart Bluestacks for the settings to change. So basically, it is just a lot of tweaking around. You could always just start from phone mode and select the lowest setting 540 by 960 and select the lowest setting on DPI 160. Press save, boot up again, and if it's absolutely flying, amazing performance, then slowly increase up to 720 and work your way up through the phone mode and then go across to landscape until you do start encountering lag and then go back a value when it was running perfect. Right, that's display all done. The next thing we want to look at is engine. I'm just going to discard the changes. In engine, we want to make sure we have performance selected. And for the graphics, I tend to use OpenGL because I find it does run smoother than DirectX when in Bluestacks. But you can go ahead and just select each option to see what you prefer. For the GPU, we do want to use our dedicated graphics card if you do have one. I have a GTX 960, which means I definitely want to use that graphics card because if you're using your onboard graphics card, then you will encounter a lot of lag. And also, just to add one little thing when it comes to your graphics, make sure you have the latest graphics card drivers installed for your PC. This really will help with the performance. And also make sure Windows 10 is completely up to date as well. To do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left, type in update and click on check for updates, and then just click check for updates and install any new updates if there are any. We now want to scroll down a little bit more and we now have Texture Beta. With ASTC, it does depend if your graphics card supports this option. If it doesn't, then it will be greyed out. But enabling this option will help increase the performance as well of your games, but that's only if the game supports the option. You may also find some games crash if you have this option enabled, but it's definitely worth giving it a try and booting up your favourite game and seeing if it does help with the performance, which it should. You have two different options. You have software decoding, which we can then enable the caching as well, which will help with the performance, or you have the hardware decoding, which is the option I recommend you choose if it is supported on your PC. That really will help increase performance. If we scroll down now, we have performance. We have our CPU. You want to click on the drop down menu and you now want to click on custom. You now want to change the CPU cores to the maximum option. As you can see, I only have one option, but that's because I've not enabled virtualization on my PC, which goes back to the start of the video. You want to make sure you have virtualization enabled in your BIOS, and then you can choose the highest CPU cores. If you can already choose the highest number, then go ahead and choose the highest number because we want to be using as many cores of our CPU as we can to help boost the performance of our games. And that's also the same with the RAM. You want to choose the highest number, or we can in fact click custom, 
and if you can go higher than the free gig option which I cannot go ahead and select 6 gig if you can or 8 gig whatever option you have you do not want this to be on a low value if it's only on 1 gig then you really are not giving your games that much memory to work on and then like I said earlier this is all to do with what programs and stuff you have running in the background again you want to just make sure everything is close so we can use as much memory as possible if we scroll down a bit more we have our frames per second and currently mine is set to 60 which means the gameplay will be very very smooth but also it will require a lot from my graphics card and if you don't have a good graphics card or PC then your PC really is going to lag and glitch so you want to turn this down I would recommend you turn it to 30 30 is a nice number if you go any lower than that then games will look a bit more stuttery which we don't really want so 30 is really the minimum option you want to go with frames per second you can also go ahead and select the enable high frames per second if you want just basically toggle this option and see if it helps your game also I recommend you display the frames per second during gameplay you want to do this when changing any of the settings just so you can keep an eye on where you're at with the frames per second. And that is it for this video. I hope you are now playing blue stacks with lag free and high frames per second. If this video did help, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels 